What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jimmy James 59 and I do not normally do videos on the preview updates because sometimes we get some slippage and some changes when the update actually drops, but there is so much in this that your boy has got. He's got take a look at this let's go ahead jump into this thing and just let me know right if you if you appreciate me going through these preview updates and you want me to do that in the future give me that feedback in the comments below let your boy know all right so let's take a look stability and performance um i always i just look for the word pathing here and i don't see it so i'm just gonna keep moving on uas some stuff like that hotkeys game play. okay gameplay Fix an issue, defensive, defensive buildings or I don't really care. I don't really care what's going on. Um, shift Q attacking is not working correctly instead of you know, getting stuck. All right, I, occasionally I will do that, but not very often. Campaign missions, nobody knows. Uh, well, you can check out that. I have no idea what Neoptolemus, I mean, Neoptolemus is, hey, he's not stealing your gold mines anymore, so. You know, you can appreciate that. All right, balance changes in general. All right, let's work through this. And by the way, a lot of this, I'm kind of seeing myself for the first time. All I know is that there's a lot. So let's take a look. Okay, battering rams and cat ram speed and garrison capacity is going up. Hmm, okay, so that will make rams. So rams, I think, have had a reputation in the game of not being that good. So this will help. Uh, elite battle elephants, line of sight's going to go up. And upgrade costs will go down i like that i like that it's a really hard unit kind of to get upgrade and it's super expensive anyway so gill nets is going to get nerfed stone shaft and gold shaft mine and the cost is going down i like that they they don't usually you don't see them research this gives you a little bit more incentive to research them sanctity cost is going up that hurts okay that's gonna hurt right so you're gonna have to pay a little bit more to get those monks upgraded Heavy Scorpion HP, Marginal, Fish Traps, Anti-Building Damage. Okay, cool. All right. Civ specific. Let's talk about it. The Ratha in melee mode is no longer unintentionally affected by the anti-skirmisher attack bonus. So, when you're in melee mode... You're not going to be able to do the anti-skirmisher attack? Is that what that is? Or is this saying that when you're in melee mode, skirmishers are not going to be doing their attack? I don't think that's what it's saying. Okay, this is kind of a confusing one. Maybe somebody can let me know because I don't think this... I'm not sure what's going on. Bohemians, Hussite Wagon frame delay is reduced. Okay, Hussite Wagons be a little bit easier to micro. It's probably good for the unit. Britons receive Gambesons. Okay, I like this change a lot. So when Gambesons came out and I saw that the Britons didn't get it and the Franks did, I thought that that was kind of backwards personally. Because for Britons, honestly, your best melee unit is probably the champion. And if that's the case, and it's, since it's more important to you, you should probably get Gambesons for it. But with the Franks, if you're making a lot of champions, it really like, doesn't make sense. And a lot of times with Franks... You're probably not going to make champions. You're either going to be making knights, because that's really your best melee unit, or you're going to be going for throwing axemen, which aren't affected by Gamesons anyways. So, you know, I have my thoughts, I mean, about the Franks having it. I kind of don't care. I don't really think it affects them. But the fact that Britons didn't get it, I always thought was kind of a bummer for them, and I'm glad that they got it now. So, nice change for the Britons. Uh, helping them out for their range is not working as fast now. Bulgarians, elite dis... Okay, the dismounted conic... Oh! So now the dismounted conic base armor is going to go up. This is actually really good because conics take a lot of upgrades. And even though they're a little bit cheaper on the food, you still got to pay for them. And what this does now is that giving your conic a little bit of base armor is going to help you. Uh, you know, if you don't have all those upgrades, you can still make conics now. And it's going to really help reduce the attack of those units that have pretty low DPS. So units like pikemen right that hey they're going to counter the mounted conic but now you're basically taking the damage down by two from a pikeman uh, which is actually really big um you know it'll help you up against like light cab now camels so 
I kind of like this. Okay. Burmese. Okay. The Rambai attack is getting reduced for the elite one. Okay, so, you know, probably a nice little change. What is this? Mana per cavalry removed to cast. Ooh. Oh, and the cost is reduced for mana per cavalry. This is really nice for Burmese. I have griped many times. You, you might say your boy Jim Stradamus predicted this. Because I've griped so many times about how I really never see mana per cavalry, but I think it's interesting. And I have advocated for it being moved to Castle Age. Well, here we go. It does look like you're going to be doing a little bit, slightly less bonus damage. But plus four attack is still pretty darn good. Especially you're getting a little cheaper. I dig it. Burmese. Burmese Knights, I think, now get really, really interesting for team games. Especially like late Castle Age kind of stuff. I think you get really interesting. Yeah. Okay. Byzantines. Um, Greek fires doing stuff. Um, what is it? Fire ships have extra range. Dromons and Bombard Towers blast radius increase. Okay. Man, they're really, really helping out the Dromons for Byzantines. Such Dromon Civ now. Bombard Towers don't do friendly fire anymore. That's good. Okay. Byzantines getting a buff. Chinese. Technology discount bonus. <laughs> oh, the Chinese nerf is here. I mean, look, the seven has triple eco bonus. This is interesting. I think definitely deserved to happen. I don't think that all of a sudden Chinese are going to go down into dumps because you're still going to have a good start. You're still going to have a little bit extra food in your farms. And hey, you're still getting some discounts, but it's not going to be as massive as it was i mean i think that this is this is it's still a big nerf but you know. so we have franks what do the franks have forager's faster work rate has been reduced okay kind of a marginal change I feel like this has been toyed around with a lot over the years um and probably a worthwhile change okay hindustanis now i've been agitating for the hindustanis let's see if jim shadamas has it right here Lose access to guilds. Okay. Grand Truck Road cost is reduced. That's probably good. Grand Truck Road now reduces the trading fee. Okay, so you lose guilds, but now you can get the trading fee really low. Not quite Saracen's low, but still pretty low. And the elite good. <laughs> okay, I didn't predict this. So Jim Shadamas did not get this one. The Ghulam attack's going to go up and the HP is going to go up. So basically, you had the Ghulam had you know, good HP and attack. It got nerfed, and now we're kind of moving back in that direction. Okay. Um, the Golom's an interesting unit. Um, this will make you a lot better against, you know, say like Mass Pikemen and things like that. A little bit more durability can't hurt, so... It's still not the changes I'd make for the Andustonis, but that's fine. fine. It's fine. Okay. Italians, Pavis is... Gonna be taking down your wood. This, I think, is good because if you want to research this in Castle Age now, it's not going to slow down your uptime to Imperial Age quite as much. So that's good. So I like this for Italians. Korean. Ooh, okay, what do we got here? Ooh, Nigers. Can't wait to see that. Um, Military units. Those wood bonuses changed. Now, archers and infantry cost minus 50% wood? So archers are going to be like 12 wood now? That's interesting. Warships cost minus 20%. Okay. So that's basically saying the same. It's really the archer and infantry cost that's changing. That's pretty dominant. That's a big discount. I mean, archers don't cost a ton of wood, though. I mean, but still, because the thing is, with, like, archers and halves, like, you do make a lot of them. So it really adds up over time. That's an interesting change. Okay. Elite War Wagon is going to be unchanged after the wood discount. So that's fine. No changes there. And Turtle Ship's affected by Siege Engineers. Okay. What the heck's happening with the Magyars? I. Let's see what this is. Kimbo. My baby. I loved this. I... Okay. I was the only man in the world who championed this team bonus. This team bonus, rest in peace to it. It has saved me so many times in games where I'd see something right on the edge of the envelope of line of sight. 
Or I'd see that Manganel come in a little bit quicker. Or I'd see an enemy army going for a counterattack. And just, oh, let me prepare at home. I'm going to miss this team. That being said, Cavalry Archers training 25% faster as a team bonus? First of all, this is really going to help the Magyar's Castle Age. Getting to that good mass of Cav Archers. I just played a game today that I lost because I couldn't quite get the mass of Cav Archers that I needed to be able to counter my opponent. I didn't quite have enough. This is great for the Magyars because now what you can do is instead of having to say like open three ranges to jump and get the numbers out, now you probably can just go like maybe two ranges and produce out of there and save that wood on that third archery range. And now you're investing it to Cav Archers or you're investing it to Town Centers I think that this makes the Magyars really flexible. And hey, if you want to open three ranges, I mean, you know, I think I think now if you play like an extended Feudal Age, that becomes really good. And it's going to get you caught up in the Cavalry Archer numbers. Because remember, you don't have an Eco Bonus with this Civ. So like Cavalry Archer's training faster. It could be a little bit of a red herring at times where you're just like, well, you, you don't have the resources to train them. But if you do say just opt for like a two range play you can probably keep those ranges running pretty continuously uh, there's going to be a spirit of the law video out about this at some point i think this is a really cool change for the Civ. and then in team games imagine now if you're say like a tatter flank right and it's always been awkward if you have like tatters or or uh huns on the flank for some reason you're trying to go you know like you kind of feel like you have to switch sometime before imperial agent and cav archers this makes that switch a lot easier so this is insane mac is one of my favorite civs i love him so much dear a dear civ of mine and i'm glad to see that uh i'm glad to see a little bit of help to their cav archers because it felt like in castle age it felt like in castle age you were not quite there all right malay it's malay losing access to gambesons I like this change. Malay been pretty strong. You're already getting free infantry armor. Yeah, that's kind of a lot, I think. I, th I think it. I think to me, it makes their two-handed swordsmen, uh, the trash two-handed swordsmen, I just felt like they were maybe a little too tanky. So this is good. I like this. Malians. <sighs> this city needs to get nerfed. Oh, thank goodness. Gold miners drop off bonus reduced from 15% to 10%. I like it. I don't know if it's enough. Malians, I'm going to... Let me let me know in the comment section below what you think about this. Malians are the best Civ in the game, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jimstradama said it. Persians. Okay. I have been agitating about Persians for a long time. Elite War Elephant line of sight increased. Okay, that seems useless. Developer note, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Changes are... Okay. I have a video that was going to release basically the day that this one's releasing. I delayed it back so that I'd have two videos come out on the same day. I think Persians are going to get some changes. Your boy Jim Shredam Jim your boy Jim Shredamus is here to help you out. So that, because I'm in touch with the divine commandments here, okay? I'm in touch with them, right? I, I, don't, I don't have to speak to the developers, right? I, I speak to eagles. I speak, I speak to the wisdom of the universe. I've been on this for a while that Persians need some changes. This is, I'm glad we're finally going to see it. And Jim Shadamas is going to make a prediction in a subsequent video what that might be. All right, let's keep going. Portuguese, the Fatoria is getting a cost increase. That's cool. Roman. Romans enable for ranked play. I love to see it. Can't wait for it. I've been playing them a decent bit in quick play. It's really the only reason I play quick play. Um, as the queue times take forever. And look, I'm sorry to all y'all that play it, but y'all's computers suck. Basically, quick play is just like a refugee camp for people that love the game, but their computers can't handle it. And hey, I'm glad quick play exists for them to all play heavily lagged games 
with one another, but it has been awful. So um, I'm glad that Romans are coming to ranked. It looks like a lot of changes on water, so their water bonuses are not overpowered. This is good. And it looks like their water bonus, now that Ballista is granting plus two attack to the galley line. Let's read these. Okay, the plus one attack, Civ bonus is gone. Okay. Water galley's armor is basically getting, so it's not too much. Okay. Ballista's isn't going to grant attack speed to the galley line, but we'll give them plus two attack. That's fine. I like it. Elite Centurion formation position moved behind infantry units in front of them. Okay, so I guess the Centurion was only helping out if they were in front. I don't know how I feel about that. It's probably good. And Romans are coming to rank. Okay, so not really only changes to the Roman water for the most part. I mean, really, those are the big changes. Okay, not bad, not bad. Slavs. Losing access to fervor. Monks moving 20% faster. I like it a lot. Um, this will help you get them relics on, on Arena. Or, you know, whatever map you play. And that's good, because sometimes monks can get kind of caught out in the open. And to me, the big thing, though, is monks being able to keep up with your cav armies. We are in such a monk meta now, and I'm just going to knock... I'm not going to lie. It's driving me crazy. Um, but that's a subject for a different video. Now, monks are going to be able to keep up with your army just a little bit better. I think that's probably a good thing. So, I think this is good for Slavs, because when they lost Orthodoxy... You know, which now is the Bengali bonus for monks. And Bengali monks are so filthy. It just kind of felt like Slavs had a bonus that people always really underrated. But was actually quite good. It just should have been a Civ bonus the whole time. Honestly. And then when they lost it, it didn't really get a monk bonus to compensate. I don't know. It's kind of disappointing. Now they get one. So I like that for the Civ. Turks? What's happening to Turks? Janissary attack range is being reduced. Oh, Lord have mercy. This might be the biggest nerf in the whole patch. The, okay. Your boy Jim Shadamas is going to jump up. You want a prediction? Jim Shadamas is going to make a prediction. This change doesn't happen. I, this change. I know, I know Turks are strong on Arena. I know they are. And I know it upsets you to get castle dropped by Turks and the Janissaries are running around. This eight range was crucial. This ain't changing. Let your boy Jim Shadamas take it a step further. I think what's going to happen when this patch does drop, we're just going to see the Janissaries accuracy get reduced. Like at range. Because remember, there was a time when it got bumped up. I think they're going to reduce it again. And that's how they're going to balance. I don't think this change sticks. It's calling it right now. Vietnamese, okay. Economy technology is now research 100% faster. Okay, oh, that's interesting. All right, you'll be, you'll be getting your bonuses in quicker. Ooh, this applies to wheelbarrow? Ooh. Wheelbarrow and handcart now, you're gonna be getting villager leave with the Vietnamese. That's interesting. They're still not gonna cost wood, okay. That's not bad. The Imperial Skirmisher is not going to cost as much. All right, that's pretty good too. So Vietnamese are getting some buffs. I, I thought they were pretty good, but now they're getting even better, okay? Return of Rome. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Okay, random maps. Let's see. Let's scroll down. Amazon Tunnel, nobody cares about Arabia. Okay, let's here we go. Reintroduce the Asian, European, and American themes. <laughs> Borders may generate now. I actually, uh, I was in Harry's channel, shout out to, Hanno, to, to Hera, and I asked him what he thought about the build orders being so fast, and when we got out of the Arabia just being elephants and back to boars, if build orders would slow down. And I think they will. Okay, gazelles now occasionally generate, pawns are gone, thank god. These pawns, sometimes you'd have so many pawns, it was ridiculous. The forest generation has been modified to create slightly more open generations. Prey and huntable animals have been... Okay. First of all, <laughs> you know that I'm Jim Stradamus. I remember the date of the video. May 5th, 2023. I put out a video on my thoughts about the return of Rome because I've been traveling a lot. 
and I didn't get to do any up videos on the updates. And I said in that video, I said, let Jim Shadamas make a prediction in the future. See, this is how you know, this is how you know the devs are watching my channel. Developers, I see you out there. I see you. And you hear me. Okay, you hear me. Watch my video that's going to drop on top five balance changes. And they're going to come out later this week. It's happening. Watch that video. I said, though, in a previous video, I said that we were going to get changes to Arabia. I said two things. First thing I said was that the hunt is going to be moved away. This is going to, this is huge. It is going to slow down the builds. Right, the builds have become super aggressive. Now you're gonna get punished a bit. Now you will get punished a bit. And I said, and, and my justification was, look, you have to put players in a position where you're guaranteeing that they're gonna sacrifice scouting if you wanna lure in a ton of deer. Okay, all right. I also said in that video that I thought that the, the randomized generation was gonna change a bit. Now, I think I got this on half right. This has been modified to create slightly more open generations. I don't know exactly how this is going to look. But. I think, though, that. Because this is what I said. What I said was that I felt like Arabia was going to be less symmetrical. Just a little bit less than it is now because it's a little too symmetrical um though now with the pawns being removed i don't think that might not might not matter as much and i do think the fact that now that gazelles are going to be occasionally generating i don't even know what that's going to like instead of deer in addition to deer i don't know but i do think though that creating more open generations i think is going to fulfill the same basic kind of idea that because it's going to be more open then the symmetry is just going to be off a little bit so again i think it's fulfilling the same thing i'll give myself three quarters no, nay i'll give myself four fifths credit because i'm pretty confident that that's the the implication we're going to see so again your boy jam shadamas makes predictions then michi uh okay yeah and I, I don't i'm sorry michi is my least favorite map so um well that's not true there's probably some other maps i hate me but i don't play michi but hey explored map visibility great i hate it even more now now michi is my least favorite map. um lobbies and matchmaking blah 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 due to long queue times empire wars and battle royal modes have been removed from quick play okay that's good i, I didn't even know you could play those on quick play um you know my thoughts about quick play have already been uh put forward in this video Change the population setting for Return of Rome ranked games to 250. Dang, they've been playing on. I didn't even know they've been playing that high. Dang, boy. Um, fix an issue, blah, blah, blah. AI. AI villagers doing some stuff. AI. Well, this is all Return of Rome. Oh, no, no, no. Stop. AI researchers. Fix an issue where camps may be placed on bad places. Return of Rome. Scripting, okay, modding. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, that's it, man. Wow, that was a lot. Um, what do I think? The big takeaways here: nerfs for the Chinese and Franks. Magyars. Yeah, I think this Magyar change. We just scroll down. I just want to see it again this i don't think it's gonna change everything i think this helps out the maggers so much and it feels like the maggers kind of lag behind i would love to hear what other people think about these changes um i kind of hope because i don't want to lose this team bonus i would love to see this developers we already know everybody we already know that you're watching my videos now jim jim Stradamus, you know, I, I know I predict the future, but let's be real. Y'all are watching. Okay. 
developers, just give this to them as a civilization bonus, okay? I mean, let, let's find a way to keep... I, I like this team bonus for Cav Archers, because again, I like the way that it might affect, you know, Tatter or Hun Flanks uh, in team games or something like that. I, 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 I'm, developers, I'm with you. But let my, let my boys see. Mac, Mac, your foot archers don't, they already don't get enough credit. And he, and here's what you're doing to them, baby. Come on, man. Anyways, this is going to be a really cool uh, patch, I think. Lots of changes, a lot going on. And, you know, uh, you know, Antigonus has a storage pit by a good wood lawn. So Antigonus is doing good. The Maggers are doing good. And I think we're all going to be okay. So with that being said, guys, I'm Jimmy James with Dinan. I'll see you out there on the ladder. Peace.